Good morning, everybody. Thank God for this 16th day of February, 2024. This is Pastor Tony on the line this morning. I'm so grateful and so honored to be doing life with you on today. Thank God for this day, which is a gift from God. And we, re we will rejoice in it and be glad. And we're going to magnify it and exalt God on the day. We're going to glorify him today for this day, which is a gift. We thank God that we're able to inhale and exhale on today. And we were able to get up this morning in our right minds. Amen. We thank God that we are in our right minds this morning. I'm so honored and so privileged to be connected to you and you be a part of my life and me be a part of your life. Thank you for allowing me to enter into your home or wherever you, your, your sacred your sacred space every weekday morning. Uh, so we thank God for each of you this morning. I give a shout out to everybody on the, on the line this morning. I'm going to go ahead and go into our prayer meditation this morning. I uh, see several of you have gotten on and I give a shout out to everybody this morning. Thank you for your support uh, financially uh, to the ministry. I thank you for your prayers and your attendance uh, and your encouraging words sharing with me what uh, this uh, broadcast is doing for your life. So thank you for that. God bless each of you this morning. I want to. I want to um, continue to. Uh, I'm going to read again to you this morning, and I, and I want you to. Uh, I want you to just relax yourself right now, as we normally do each morning. Just relax your your body, relax your mind, just relax in your chair, wherever you may be. Whatever designated area you have designated for your time of prayer, just want you to get quiet. I want you to get quiet. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 46 and 10, Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted above the nations. I am exalted above the earth. Be still and know that I am God. There's something about stillness. When you become still, there's a stillness in your mind. There's a stillness in your, your heart. There's a stillness in your body. And when you still, There's a greater level of communication with the Father. When you're quieting yourself, you're quieting, your, you're quieting yourself to this outside world. You're shutting your mind off to the outside world. And you're focusing on God who lives on the inside of you. His presence and His power is on the inside of you. So as you relax, Isaiah 26 and 3 says, And He will keep you in perfect peace, those who keep their minds stayed upon Him. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding but in all of your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path the word of the Lord says that God will satisfy your mouth with good things His word says that every good and perfect gift come from above. His word says that God has given us richly all things 
to enjoy. Psalm 37 and 4 says, If you delight yourself also in the Lord, He will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 103 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. He is the God that healeth all thy diseases. Psalm 107 verse 20 says, He sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them out of all of their destructions. Psalm 23 verse 1 says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He make me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Hmm. The word of the Lord says that we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. As your eyes are closed and your head is tilted back, I want you just to breathe with me. Just breathe with me. Breathe with me. Come on, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. As your eyes are closed, you're going into a deeper, relaxed state. Your eyes are closed. And with the with your palms facing up, but you're relaxing in your calm position. As you close your eyes, you close your eyes to this outside world and the eyes of <clears throat> the eyes of your faith is open. Hebrews 11 and 1 says that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Your faith, the eyes of your faith can see what you can't see with your natural eyes. For the Bible declares that no eye have seen, no ear have heard, neither have there's a heart that have received all of the good things that God has in store for them that love Him. I want you to repeat after me this, and then I'm gonna tell you when I'm gonna begin to read. some more prayer affirmations to you this morning but I want you to repeat this after me say father I love you and I worship you and I praise you on this morning this 16th day of February 2024 this day you've given me father is a very special gift and I will make the most of my day I will not allow fear, chaos, disturbance to impact my day. But Father, today I will glorify you in everything that I do today. What I speak today, it will glorify you. What I think on today, it will glorify you. My actions and behavior it will glorify you. For you alone are worthy. Father, your God presence and your God power resides on the inside of me. Therefore, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Father, your word also says that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
and I'm well aware of it. Thank you, Father. Thank you today that everything I touch today will be productive. Everything I touch on today will be prosperous. I will walk in peace and shalom all day long. There's nothing missing and nothing broken. I see my day successful. I see my day impactful. What I speak on today will be words of encouragement, words of, words of empowerment, words of affirmation, words of confirmation, words that will inspire, words that will lift up. My words will be so fruitful on today. There will be no negativity that will come out of my mouth. My mind is so free to think God thoughts. My mind is so clear. My mind is so clear. And the pathway of my mind allows your infinite thoughts to flow through my mind freely without interruption. I honor you, Father, with my hands. I honor you with my feet. My feet will only go where you lead them. I honor you with my eyes. I honor you with my ears. I honor you with this body that you live in. This body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. And I cherish this body. I take care of this body so that I can live a very fruitful and productive life. I'm not impacted by age. Age is just a number. Your word says that the inward man is renewed day by day. And I am being renewed day by day. Father, thank you that I will complete every task on today, every assignment on today. Those that I am led to call, text, email, or even have a face-to-face -face encounter with, I will speak words of wisdom. Thank you, Father. My day is so fruitful and productive, and I'm so grateful that I'm daily loaded with benefits today, and all of my needs, they are met with heaven's best. There's nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing out of alignment that is attached to my life. Thank you, Father. You're so worthy. You're so worthy. And I thank you that this is my portion this morning and I freely receive it. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you just to stay in that relaxed place and I'm, I'm gonna read some affirmations to you this morning. Just keep your eyes closed. Let God take you into a place that you've never been. As if, as it is, as if you're going into a trance. May God bless you through His words. Spiritual rebirth. Today I am reborn spiritually. I completely detach myself from the old way of thinking. I bring divine love, light, and truth definitely into my experience. I consciously feel love for everyone I meet, everyone I encounter. 
mentally I say to everyone I, I contact I see Christ in you and I know you see Christ in me I recognize the qualities of God in everyone I practice this morning I practice this morning noon and night it is a living part of me I am reborn spiritually now because all day long I practice the presence of God no matter what I'm doing whether I am walking the street shopping or about my daily business whenever I th my thought wanders away from God or the good I bring it back to the contemplation of God's holy place in his presence I feel noble dignified and Christ like I walk in high mood sensing my oneness with God his peace fills my soul love frees God is love and God is life this life is one with God life manifests itself in and through all people it is at the center of my own being I know that light dispels the darkness so does love of the good overcomes all evil my knowledge of the power of love overcomes all negative conditions now love and hate cannot dwell together I now turn the light of God upon all fear and anxiety uh, all fear and anxious thoughts in my mind and they flee away the dawn light of truth appears and the shadows of fear and doubt flee away I know divine love watches over me guides me and makes clear the path for me I am expanding into the, the divine and I am now expressing God in all my thoughts words and actions the nature of God and the love of God is flowing through and in me I know that the perfect love casts out all fear the secret place he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty I dwell in the place in the secret place of the Most High this is my own mind all of my thoughts entertained by me conform to harmony peace and goodwill my mind is the dwelling place of happiness joy and a deep sense of security all of the thoughts that enter my mind contribute to my joy and peace and general welfare. I live, I move, and I have my being in the atmosphere of good fellowship, love, and unity. All of the people that dwell in my mind are God's children. I am at peace in my mind with all the members of my household and all mankind. The same good I wish for myself, I wish for all men. I am living in the house of God now. I claim peace and happiness and tranquility. For I know I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and I inquire in his temple and I behold the beauty of the Lord
control your emotions. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding. But he that is hasty of spirit exalted folly. I am always poised, serene, and calm. The peace of God floods my mind and whole being. I practice the golden rule and sincerely wish peace and goodwill to all men. I know that the love of all things which are good penetrates my mind, casting out all fear. I am now living in the joyous expectancy of the best. I live in the best. I wear the best. I drive the best. My mind is free from all worry and doubt. My words of truth now dissolves every negative thought and emotion within me. I forgive everyone. I open the doorway of my heart to God's presence. My whole being, it flooded with the light and understanding from within. The petty things, the petty things, the petty things of life no longer irritate me. When fear, worry, and doubt knock at my door, faith in goodness, truth, and beauty opens the door. And there is no one there O oh God, thou art my God, and there is no one else. Now, a prayer of gratitude. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all the wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. I will give thanks sincerely and humbly for all the goodness, truth, and beauty which flows through me. I am grateful and I have a grateful uplifted heart for all of the good that has come to me in my mind, body, and affairs. I radiate love and goodwill to all mankind. I lift them up in my thought and feeling. I always show my gratitude and, and give thanks for all of my blessings. The grateful heart brings my mind and heart in intimate union with the creative power of this cosmos. My, thank, my thankfulness and an exalted state of mind leads me along the ways by which all good things come. I enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. I'm thankful unto him and I bless his name. Prayer for peace. Peace begins with me. The peace of God fills my mind. The spirit of goodwill comes forth from me 
to all mankind. God is everywhere and he fills the hearts of all men. In absolute truth, all men are not spiritually perfect. They are expressing God's qualities and attributes, God's nature. These qualities and attributes are love, light, truth, and beauty. And you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. There is, There are no separate nations. All men belong to one country. The one nation which is God's country, a country is a dwelling place. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I walk and talk with God all day and throughout the day. So do all men everywhere. There is only one divine family and that is humanity. There is no frontiers or no barriers between nations or between cultures because God is one. He is indivisible. God cannot be divided against himself. The love of God permeates the hearts of all men everywhere. God and his wisdom rules and guides the nation. He inspires our leaders and the leaders of all nations to do his will and his will alone. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding fills my mind and the minds of all men throughout the cosmos. Thank you, Father, for your peace. And this is done. In Jesus' name. My destiny. I know that I mold, fashion, and create my own destiny. My faith in God is my destiny. This means an abiding faith in all things good. I live in the joy out of, ex out of expectancy of the best. I expect the best. I live in the best. Only the best comes to me. I know the harvest I will reap in the future because all of my thoughts are God thoughts and God is with my thoughts of good my thoughts are the seeds of goodness my thoughts are the seeds of goodness my thoughts are the seeds of goodness truth and beauty I now place my thoughts of love peace joy success and goodwill in the garden of my mind this is God's garden and it will yield an abundant harvest the glory and beauty of God will be expressed in my life from this moment forward, I express life, love, and truth. I am radiantly happy and prosperous in all ways. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now a prayer of meditation for constructive imagination.
Ecclesiastes, Ephesians. Ephesians 3 and 20 says that God would do exceedingly and abundantly above all you could ask or think according to the power that work within you. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the God of peace shall be with you. My mind is God's mind for I have the mind of Christ and my thoughts are God's thoughts. This is how I use my imagination daily. I constantly meditate on whatsoever things are true, honest, just, lovely, and of good report. My imagination is the workshop of God at all times. Creativity flows in and through me Witty ideas flows through my mind and through my imagination. I imagine only peace, harmony, health, wealth, perfect expression, and love. I reject everything unlike God or perfection. Today, I claim my true place in the kingdom of God. I make it a daily practice to seek first the kingdom of God within me. Then I know that all good things shall be added to me. All of my faith in God and the good God's love is supreme in me and cast out all fear I am at peace thank you father thank you God in me in our last prayer med meditation for this morning the balanced mind Thou will keep him in perfect peace, those whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. I know that the inner desires of my heart come from God within me. God wants me to be happy. The will of God for me is life, love, truth, and beauty. I mentally accept my good now and I become a perfect, free, flowing channel for God's divine nature to flow in and through me. The God power and God presence lives on the inside of me. I come into his presence singing and I enter into his courts with praise. I am joyful and happy. I am still and poised. The still small voice whispers in my ear, revealing to me my perfect answer. I am an expression of God. I am always in my true place, doing the thing I love to do. I refuse I refuse, I refuse to accept the opinions of man as truth. I now turn within the God within and I sense and feel the rhythm of his divine nature. I hear the melody of God whispering the message of love to me. My mind is God's mind, and I am always reflecting divine wisdom and divine intelligence. My brain functions at optimum level, and it symbolizes the Christ capacity 
to think wisely and spiritually. God's ideas unfold within my mind with perfect sequence. I am always poised and balanced and serene and calm in my mind. For I know that God will always reveal to me the perfect solution to all of my needs. And so it is. That is your portion. That is your portion. Freely he gives and freely you receive. There is no good thing that God the Father will withhold from his children. Every good and perfect gift come from above. You, my friend, are a gift from God. The Bible says every good and perfect gift come from above. You are a gift from God. Walk in greatness. Walk in greatness. Because you have greatness residing on the inside of you. And there is nothing that you can't do. Because God is on the inside of you. And he said greater works we would do. Because the greater one lives on the inside. The greater one lives on the inside. I bless your day. And I bless your weekend. As you come back to this place of reality. You're going to have a fruitful and productive day can't tell you what these prayer affirmations are doing for me and I pray that they are blessing you beyond measure as I often tell you go out be kind to yourself be kind to someone else be kind to yourself first because as we read in one of the prayers you treat others the way you want to be treated so think about how you treat others even how you think about others turn that thought to a positive thought a healthy thought concerning an individual no, individual no matter what they've done to you no matter what they said to you you don't want any type of contamination to come into your mind so start thinking good thoughts concerning that person start thinking healthy thoughts and when you do that, when you do that, you will continue to see things around you manifest. Good things. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Live full. Live free. Live life more abundantly. It's the kingdom way. I love you dearly. And the Lord says the same I look forward to being back with you next Tuesday. Same time, same three platforms. Go back and listen to this today. Let it bless you. God bless. Bye-bye.